Alright guys, I'm back and this time we're going to be covering Henry's Force log car and its evolution if you will. Now Henry's Force log car was actually labeled new for the year 1994 but was actually released a year prior in the year 1993 and when released it had this flat magnet and undated wheels. This is what you would refer to as an open-ended Henry's Force log car because it has open ends. It acquired the addition of the rounded magnet sometime in 1994 as well, but remained the same until it was replaced with this model in 1998, which is pretty much the same thing as the other one. It's just this one's referred to as a closed-ended Henry's Force log car. I wonder why. The difference between the two was when an engine went uphill, the logs didn't fall out. Now, for some reason, the open-ended version had a longer log than the closed-ended version. I'm not really sure why, but both versions was compatible with the Sodor Lumber Company, as seen in the background. Now, Henry's Force log car was retired individually in 2002, but was still available with the Sawmill Dumping Depot until 2003. The only difference was the log. This one's magnetic version that simulates being sawn in half. I did a review on this one a couple of weeks ago probably. Which brings me to my next version of Henry's Forest log car, which isn't really Henry's Forest log car at all. It's the sawmill log car, introduced in 99. I'm not really sure why they even made this version at all, but it had the same log that the sawmill dumping depot had. And it was identical to the 1998 version of Henry's Force log car. This one, however, was retired in 2001. So again, why they even made it, I have no idea. Maybe because Learning Curve wanted to make more money? Not really sure. But that's really all there is to say about Henry's Force log car. Thanks for watching.